Well, he should have cracked by now. Give him a little time. Let him enjoy his goose pimples. Colonel, do you really prefer this procedure to our usual methods? Well, I would say with intellectuals, the mental approach is sometimes more effective and much quicker. But uh, if he shouldn't turn out to be an intellectual? Don't we try a little physical culture? Colonel, I don't want to hurry you, but do you think it'll be much longer? Oh, did you get bored? Uh, no, no. I tried to open up a conversation with your friend in there, but he seems to be dead. No, really. Let's go and see. It looks like murder. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I'm wrong, Colonel, please correct me. But there seems to be a slight resemblance between me and your late friend. Has that struck you, too? Oh, definitely, definitely. And you know, I have a terrible suspicion that one of us must be an imposter. I hadn't thought of that. But now that you mention it, I think you're right. Now, uh, now, just for fun, Colonel, which one of us do you think is the imposter? Oh, I hope you won't consider it impolite, Professor. But there's a general feeling in this room that it's you. Please forgive me. Oh, certainly, certainly. Do you mind if I play detective? Go right ahead, Professor Siletsky. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Edmondson's London. The real Siletsky came from London. The suit was bought in London. You think it looks bad for me? Terrible. Hmm. His watch is still running, which means he was killed since the real Professor Siletsky arrived in war. This really looks bad for me. You know I'm liable to get shot? There's a distinct possibility. And there's no doubt there was a definite purpose. He wanted to look like me? Or you wanted to look like him. That's right. That's right. Our hair is cut alike, and even the shape of our beards is somewhat similar. Not similar. Exactly alike. How long did you know each other? I just met him here. Now you're lying. Plain lying. You must have observed him for several months. It takes that long to grow a beard of that kind. Very good, Schultz. Very good. Excellent, Schultz. Except you forget I may be wearing a false beard. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> no, Professor, I tell you a better story. Maybe he is wearing a false beard. Oh, I hardly think so. Then why don't you convince yourself? Why don't you pull his beard? I can't do it. No, you can't, eh? Too sensitive, eh? You can murder a man. You can kill in cold blood. But you cannot pull a man's paper to... I can't believe it. Schultz! How dare you put me in this position? I can't rely on anybody. But, Colonel, you gave the order yourself. Shifting the responsibility on me again? That's all, Schultz. Goodbye, gentlemen. 